Some of the biggest names in poker are here in London. They've shunned the bright lights and the big city to come to the East End and the poker den for what promises to be an epic clash of wills, of battles, and of staying awake longer than sheep can count. This is a 24-hour game of poker. A 24-hour cash game in the bowels of East London. We're five hours in, and already Austin Haley, the rugby player, brushed aside by some of the biggest names in poker. And Texas Johnny Houston forced to rebuy. That's one option. He could have walked but decided to put more money in and grind it out to get even or better. Some huge names waiting in the wings, trying to get in this game, and none bigger than 10-time World Series of Poker bracelet holder Phil Helmuth. He's out there, rolling the wolf, Baza Barry Hearn, Tony G, everybody itching to get in this game. But let's have a look at who's at this table right now, a rundown of the eight sitting and playing. Irishman John McGill proved he's a great tournament player pocketing a million at the World Series. But how's his cash game? We'll find out tonight. The key to success in cash games has to be being patient. The Finn Yuha Healthy Premier League champion getting down to business. It's just another day at the office, so I can beat them, I know that. The Greek businessman Achilles Kalakis has taken a bit of a battering so far, but he can handle it. These are very top-rated professionals, and uh, you can learn a lot from them and uh, take their money quite often. Take away Dave Gregory, feeling very comfortable and dishing out warnings. Or just say, beware, you know, just beware, be careful. <laughs> The man they all want to beat, he's got a target on his forehead, Dave the Devilfish. Everybody guns at me. I don't have to gun at anybody, you know, they all come after me, so I just sit there and try and, and take the money, you know. The bookie Anthony Hardy, way ahead so far. I'm gonna win tonight. Texas Johnny Houston, a late arrival, but he's made up for it in spades. They'll fear me. They know I'm aggressive. They don't. They know that I can take a man. And on to the table tonight. Ten World Series of Poker bracelets, but they won't be in play here. It's Phil Helmuth. Could be some real fireworks between Devilfish and I. Some huge pots with some weak hands. Like any cash game, players having different amounts at the table, depending if they've rebought, won, or lost. The white chips you see are with $25 each, blacks are 100, reds are 500, and the table green's worth 1,000. Comes in the bottom. This is a you off. This is you off, doesn't it? Oh, it's a bit unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, only, only in the poker then. They gave me another sweet too. How's your room? I am I am found man, yeah, I don't know. Uh, How's your room, Fish? I don't know, I am found it. Uh, they were they were playing in the Premier League last month and uh, there was only one suite in the hotel and uh, Helmuth got it over to Devilfish. Oh my god. And the, 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 the entire week they were down there, Helmuth kept giving Phil, Devilfish the key to his room and saying, Can you go get me you go get me my Can you go get me my cards? Can you go get me my pen? Well I tell you what, if there's one guy who'd appreciate that, it's the it's the fish. <laughs> it's certainly what he'd be doing if the things were reversed. Uh, 250 was raised by McGill with the King Jack and Johnny Texas, who uh, a lot of these players think are steaming, has a uh, re-raised 500 more. Uh, you can't blame McGill for calling here. No, he's Irish. <laughs> But uh, Houston's got a very nice looking oh, hand. I mean, those are the dynamics uh, that precipitated this huh? move, aren't they? Huh? Well, if you say so, Jesse, I'm going to argue with you at this stage. Right? Disaster for Houston, the ace on the flop. Eddie. And uh, well, if there's one guy who will represent it, it's, uh, it's Miguel. He's represented just about everything else they've let him represent so far. 
Yeah, I know I love you too, bro. You've got to, you've got to admit that if you was made out of chocolate, you would have fucking ate yourself by now. Clever check by Houston, what? isn't it? Right, so it's a poker game. It's a cash poker Would you like to see him bet it there? In an old summer. No. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't really thought about it. <laughs> I think Houston's just trying to find out where he's at here. Check. Well, he's trying to induce the bluff. That worked. Now the question is, what now? How big? Twelve to call. Call. That was a quick call by Johnny Houston for twelve hundred. And I think Johnny. Yeah, you Houston know, a lot of times when a guy calls you that quickly, it's because he doesn't want you to bet the river. You know, we just get it in quick. <laughs> Can we just go check, check, and give me the money? Check. Well, it's tough for McGill to go through with this. Well, you know, this has been Houston's second buy-in, and uh, McGill not sure if Houston's going to go for another buy-in. Uh, could be he could be playing at the last money he's prepared to spend this evening. It's about eighteen hundred there. Uh, maybe about twenty-three hundred even. Well, I know Miguel's got a lot of gamble in him, and he's uh, he's got a lot of bluff in him. But I'm not really sure John, bluffing Johnny Houston at this stage is a good idea. You think you think Houston's going to call? Yeah. You know, there's uh, there's four thousand in the pot already, almost. Twelve. Twelve hundred. Call. Quick call. King high and the Queens win and uh, Johnny Houston back on track. He, geez, he's not he's not that Queens. he's not that far from even. He won about three thousand dollars in that pot. <laughs> no, well, it all depends on when you start counting. <laughs> yeah, he's only down twenty one hundred now. Houston just checked once the flop came and uh, the ladies. <laughs> you know, do you think maybe Phil might have made a mistake here by only buying in for 5,000? Because uh, if he bought in for 10,000, uh, he'd be able to put some of the winners at this table under a little bit more pressure if they want to take him on. Right, but there's a few guys at this table who are, uh, who are winning enough money to uh, cover Phil in the pot and still be in front. McGill has stuck about 5,000 since he sat down here. This is the biggest hand he's picked up. He's just called Kalakis with the ace king. Call. And Hardy's just called as well. We could have seen a massive amount of action pre flop. Well, <laughs> if this was a tournament, <laughs> yeah. I think there'd be a lot, a lot more chips in the pot here. And did you check the flop after that? And, uh, you know, Kalakis hasn't exactly raised a whole lot of pots. He's done a lot of limping and calling. But uh, Killy's also stuck about eight, 9,000 in this game. Well, he, he looks like a guy who's heard his, <laughs> just heard his helicopter just got shot down and it's not insured. <laughs> 600. 600 into a dry pot. Call. Quick call. And what is Hardy going to do? Well, this is, this is uh, like mother's milk to Hardy, isn't it? Is he going to be worried about McGill at all? He's probably wishing he'd got a re raise in before the flop, maybe. Yeah. Right, 1600. Uh, he stuck it up about 1,000. It's not a huge raise. Is that going to be enough to clear the field out? Well, it should be. Pass. I mean, McGill's going to have to consider he's up against a set here, isn't he? Well, I think uh, John McGill has done, he's done his share of bluffing already tonight, and uh, he's going to have to show them a hand or two before, he's <laughs> before he gets himself in a oh. position where he can bluff. Having said that. Uh -oh. Ace or king live Checking from McGill. Lines. He's checked dark. What has Hardy put him on? Interesting. I think Parg is that McGill's shown that he can have kind of any two cards in this spot. He doesn't need to have something like Ace King, does he? No, he's a pretty hard guy to put on a hand. All in. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that, that, 
that kind of surprised uh, Anthony Hardy. <laughs> that, was, that was not the best time for him to find out. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly added a little bit more excitement to the pot. Anthony Hardy's in a pretty good spot here, but he's going to have to sweat a little bit more than he thought he would. Hardy thought he was betting about 2,700, about 3,000 here. It turns out he's just bet 9,000. 9,000. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you, if, well. if McGill if McGill had 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 three sevens here, Hardy would be <laughs> considered a bit unfortunate, wouldn't he? <laughs> yeah, he certainly would. But uh, McGill has called for ten thousand more before the hand began, and uh, that's why he's playing behind, as it's called. But they just haven't arrived with the chips yet. And I'm not really sure what he's thinking about par. His options have been kind of taken away from him, haven't they? I think the first thing he's wondering is why he called the thousand on the flop. <laughs> <laughs> when he's worked that one out. Jeez, look at this putt. I mean, uh, if McGill were to call here, the putt would be over 20,000. It there's wouldn't be the hell of a game on. There's, there's, there's hardly a hand he could beat here, is there? I mean, he has the ace of diamonds. I'm going to gamble, yeah, but I think. Oh, my God. What is he thinking, Park? I have absolutely no idea. Can you think of a hand he can beat? We can beat a screen. Yeah, <laughs> not very Fair much points. more. We're winning so far. Queen Queen got extraordinary four call. Times, I've only got yes, King. Did he? Did he call? Yeah. He called. It's, it's a massive putt. He's playing ten thousand behind it. I think there's over twenty thousand in here. McGill needs an ace or a king. He, he hasn't hit it. That, that's a massive pot for Anthony Hardy. And Targ, he, I think he was trying to make a great read here. Uh, well, I'm not entirely sure what he put Anthony Hardy on there. Uh, as you say, McGill did have the ace of diamonds, so Hardy wasn't uh, betting with the nut flush draw. He's fifteen thousand dollars up this early in the game, oh, and uh, 6, this this game is on. You know, McGill must have seen the fear in Hardy's eyes when when he found out how much he had bet or something. Well, if he didn't, he's blind. <laughs> <laughs> I think that may well have influenced the call. Me? No, I like So McGill stunned, but still smiling. Back with more action after the break. It's all about winning and losing. John McGill there reeling after the big $20,000 pot went southward to Anthony Hardy, who's probably feeling very good. McGill went for the rebuy. That's allowed, but he must be rocking a little bit. Tilt is real, and you'll see it tonight. Let's have a look at who's up and who's down, because that's what counts. I'm uh, looking at the profit and loss board obviously the big numbers park uh, hardy 15 grand ahead and mcgill about that amount behind i've never seen helmet ahead in a cash game before so this could be a bit of a collector's item devilfish picked up some support marty <laughs> now you're in trouble i mean we haven't we haven't really like you know, it's interesting to see here i mean uh, how the winners and the losers play uh, you know a lot of the time you know some players when they're winning they crank up the game trying to destroy everybody or uh, other times when guys are winning they're quite happy to sit on the winnings and let the, let the losers make the mistakes yeah Hardy's been aggressive so far a limp in from helmet the fish is calling along and uh Gregory playing very slow with the tens. No, excuse me, he's raised it. I didn't make it over. Um, no. I think he made it. No, I'm not full tilt. Oh, sorry. I think he made it two hundred. He's out. He's out. Must have been. Must have been. Must have been three hundred. No, well, just keep going. We think we get there. Yeah, it was three hundred. Three ways and. Uh, is this a, a loose call from the fish, or is it the kind of hand he can make some? Uh, 
Seven action with oh wow you Six. know well when you play as well as the fish you know you can afford to play with with a, a lot of hands that a, other players have, shouldn't play with 600. Well, he, he may just get Dave Gregory in a whole lot of trouble here. Yeah, it, it looks like a bit of a flop for Gregory, doesn't it? You know, he's got the over pair and, uh, and the gut shot just in case he's behind. And uh, the fish uh, firing at it, fast playing it. It's gotten him some extra action. A thousand and it's big, big re-raise. It was 600 up to 1600 and now the fish has come all in. Well, they're going to count it down, but uh, it'll be somewhere in the neighborhood of, uh, oh, geez, about uh, 4,500 more or so. Well, I think the, the fish has put Gregory on an over pair, and he isn't going to mess around with his two pair. He'd be a lot happier if Gregory had the, the, the jacks or queens or kings or something. The tens is the worst over pair, obviously, for uh, Gregory to have from Dave's point of view. No problem. Yeah, when you look at the eight, it'll give him a straight. Looking at the percentages, uh, Gregory obviously losing, but not in horrendous shape. He I'm might even feel like he's priced in, in here. Shape, huh? Sorry? So I'm glad you're asking how much it is. It must be in good shape. And uh, in a cash game, if you're priced in, you kind of got a call, don't you? If you're priced in or, or if you're losing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a tough decision for Gregory here. Yeah? Yeah, we've got 37, 39. Four four. You know, he may, he, he may think four. that uh, the Dave has got maybe nine eight or something like that, where he's got a pair and a, and a straight draw. And in which case, the two tens are pretty strong blockers on the straight. Yeah, but I mean, it's, there's so many draws out there. What about a flush draw with over cards or an eight even? I hadn't thought about that. But how would he be doing against a hand like that? Um. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, push it in and see how to turn the river brick. I mean, he's getting nearly two to one here. It's 4,400. Um, the problem for Gregory is it's basically all his profit in the game, or at least half of it anyway. And I, I think if he had the, the jacks, he might, he might fold here. But with his holding being the, the tens and having the eight as an out, I think he's probably going to call. It's... Uh it's 4,300 more. He's getting almost exactly two to on one. Me, did you? No. Or two pair nines and sevens. No. Don't ask him anymore. He's going to have to tell you a lie. <laughs> I've got two jacks. I mean, if, if, if he knows Dave has two pairs, he might he probably calls, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. What, what is the hand he doesn't want to see? Uh, well, I guess it's a straight <laughs> <answer>. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah. You got me right now, says Dave Gregory, and there's 12,825 in there. The situation, of course, yeah. is... Uh, That's the only reason I called you. The fish will be broke on his first buy-in. And uh, Gregory has just confirmed What's that he did call that? because because it was 10s he had. Yeah. He's got 4.8s, 3.9s, 7, 8, 2, ten. Fish 60% here. 9 outs. Are you money on, sir? No, I'm favorite. <laughs> That's not a bad card for the fish. There's no clubs out. And now uh, Gregory needs, as we say, eight, nine, four, or ten. Yeah. I'll go four to one now, but he can we? Four, oh, six, eight. seven, eight, or ten. Wow. Four eight. clubs on board, but the two pair hold. Two pair. And uh, the fish has gone from losing to a head in this game. That's opened things up, hasn't it? Certainly has, but that was just one of those pots where, uh, like, everybody's done the right thing. Yeah. But Park, I mean, it all started out by the fish. He limped in for 50 and then called 250 more with the 6-7. And this is this is the idea when you're playing No Limit Hold'em, isn't it? About why you, you make those kind of moves. He's ended up winning a 12,000 pot because of it. Wow. Well, you know, when you get to see the, you know, when, when you're playing for the kind of, with the kind of money these guys have in front of them, a couple of hundred isn't all that much to see the flop. But then, when good things like that can happen. All of a sudden, Phil Helmuth, uh, having taken a piece out of Devilfish Oli and ahead a couple thousand in this game. And, uh, geez, things are changing a little bit. Dave Gregory's been knocked back. He's dusted off about five grand. Still ahead, though. Which way? All right. Sure. 
There's got to be some temper, tempers flaring tonight, you can believe, with the players and everything. Well, I, I don't think that's really going to happen. I mean, these guys normally are. Can I read? Here's an extra 50000 if you blow up today. That was priceless. Do you know how many people are going to watch the show that we're talking about? Can I raise? Am I fucking right, Doc? Don't stop. 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 Three fifty. <laughs> <laughs> Matt is well, you're out. You're out like it's the well of series or something. Wow, well, big deal. I'm out. Huh? Quick call by Anthony Hardy, and uh, Kalak. Oh no, it's around. Kalakis has limped. Huh? And we'll clip the three hundred in. Answer me a question, Phil. And, uh, in a cash game, in a cash game, not in tournaments. If I say making three hundred, and I'll call you. Is that fair? Nobody else is folding. I don't know anything about it except that was great yeah. for the show. Yeah. That's going to make Why don't you just really answer the question that. I'm asking? If I have it back at the TiVo at home, I'm going to replay <laughs> that four times. What happened? He grabbed his chips and tried to leave the game. What happened? He grabbed his chips and tried to leave the game. What's your fucking In the middle of everything else, Achilles Kalakis has finally to keep you in the game. flopped a hand. <laughs> he looks like he's flopped a hand. Did I just ask you a question? Did I just ask you a question? You can hardly blame him. Wait a long time America, for that. If you made it 350 and I could make it 300, I'll call. Right. Would that be a fair bet? Would that be fair? 800? Pretty reasonable bet from Would John McGinn. Yeah, of course it was. 800, course I think he bet. Yeah. Oh, you're not sure? Well, he's betting around about the pot size. Well, I'll bet you a million pounds. Well, that's two thirds of the pot. There's no goals in cash games. Cool. And I just wonder, Parg, if that's, if that's the point that McGill has to start thinking about that he might be beat here. You know, you're looking at clam over the desk. The gill's drawn dead here. You think after watching, you think after watching this exchange Thousand. between these two, anybody's care, anybody home cares about the poker anymore? We're going to start combining like a WWF oh, and that's poker. That's <laughs> it's like a, a, a wrestling and live poker. That's a big pot here. It will be if he calls. It's a thousand dollars. He's he's actually, Achilles is kind of underbetted here, hasn't he? Yeah, trying to <laughs> trying to lead him in, maybe. Got a lot to think about here. I call. And cool. Well, he's got to I be putting Galakis on a stone cold bluff. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. It's impossible. Yeah. If McGill does hit a full oh, house here with a six or an eight, obviously it'll give Galakis a higher full house. And Cause more trouble. Me off. Just me off here, I wonder if Kalakis thinks Kalakis is betting small because he thinks maybe he's in trouble with his kicker. Well, he's entitled to think that, uh, that McGill's got a little bit of something when he calls the 1200 raise on the flop. So I think um, a little bit of bedlam going on in the background isn't helping John McGill in this part. Argument over vodka, what I asked for for 20 minutes, is arguing with me. Then you don't want to listen to what got said. I don't want. To. You know, I mean, you're out of order. I mean, McGill's pot odds just keep getting better and better. But Park, these are the kind of things that it, it's 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 hard to weigh these things in no limit cash hold them, isn't it? Well, you know, sometimes when you make one mistake in a pot, I mean, it leads to two or three more. And, uh, right now, uh, McGill is wishing he hadn't called on the flop. Well, the, if he called on the turn, it's a lot harder not to call You're on the river, isn't it? Court, call in fact, him. after calling on the flop, it's a lot harder not to call on the turn and the river. Oh, and uh, three tens from Achilles. And I just kind of feel like that is going to make John McGill feel like he's, he's going to have to change up a little bit. <laughs> McGill down a 20 ball, which uh, right now is uh, not looking good. And Kalakis has come way back. I think he was down about 11,000, Park. Uh, he was. He was down a little over 11, Jesse. John McGill is down 20,000. And though I've got a lot of time for John McGill's game, and you do have to say that uh, most of it's down to himself. And Johnny Houston up $900. Time for coffee and a donut. And who's coming in but Tony G? I'm just going to crush him. Absolutely destroy them. They'll never want to play poker with me again. They've all come and gone already. Houston, Greekfish, and Healy. Phil Helmuth is in now and joining those seven, the one and only Tony G. Like five people shouldn't be on this table. Out! Let's go. Was I in that fight? No. Sit down, donkey. Now, now, the rules. It's all changing now. Every hand you play, okay? You don't play three hands out the door. I'm, and a kick up your bum as you go out. Every hand everyone plays, okay? 
Everyone plays. New game. Fair. Tony G is showing a remarkable uh, grasp of the English language. <laughs> well, the great thing is Tony I, I, I G. I'll bust you, though. He really can bust. kick this game up, Bar can he? Well, he certainly intends to. The game is on. Oh, yeah. Game is on. Jeez, who could believe the blinds are still only $25 and $50? Cool. All you can do is win. They're going to kick this game up uh, sometime in the next 24 hours, that's for sure. Make it $250. What? $250. And, you know, Tony's G is two for, tea, two for two on the raising stakes. Okay. You know, the Phil Hillman advisors are down. And he's down healthy. healthy. Where's your money? You got two hundred in here. I gave you fifty change. Da 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 da. I'd part right. I'd like to take. Right. Part. Helmuth actually. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take you out this time. He, he knows. He knows how to play this situation, doesn't he? Well, he's been in it often enough, but he's been Tony G. Finally, we got some pots here. Now, anyone missing three hands, you're out the back door. That's it. That's the end. All right. Three hands in a row, three strikes out. Is that a good rule, Devilfish? It's on you. There's seven hundred and seventy-five dollars in this pot already. And, uh, three strikes and you're out. I don't think that's poker, is it? This is great yeah. news for Tony G. Yeah. I mean, uh, 700. 700. Bad news for uh, Mr. Helpy, who may need a lot of Helpy on the turn. Raised the 2,000. Two dimes he made it? Wow. Oh. And now Tony G, who it, it looks like he's going to go off and do all his money. What he might end up doing here is busting everybody. If he can pick up some hands and he's got the best one right now. Behind, right? Yeah. And these guys are pretty deep here, you know. Both yeah, Helpy and Tony yeah, G are that. playing pretty close to twenty thousand each here. Tony don't know. You're absolutely right. Nine. You know, you Helpy's seen a lot in his uh, in his thirty years. He's seen a lot of guys coming into Check. into games, <laughs> absolutely steaming and ready to go. So it it's not beyond the bounds of possibilities that Mr. Helpy will think this ten eights in front. Though he has been playing so well of late, and. Tony G. He might be the only guy at the table that could get away from it against Tony G here. Yeah. Well, he's checked it to Tony. And Check. I mean, I just I feel like Tony needs to bet here when he's, got, when he's in front, Parker, the way he's been playing. I wow. That was, a, that was a very good check by you, huh? <laughs> check. Well, I think uh, you had thinks that if his 10 is in front, uh, he, may as well, he may as well let Tony do the betting. This is going to be a, it's a pretty tough pass for uh, for you, huh? What kind of range of hands will you put Tony G on right here if you like? Well, I'd probably have called him by now and then worry about what range of hands he was on. That's exactly what's happened. yu put the defenses down and the Tens. kicker is good. And, uh, well, for all his blasting, Tony... <laughs> Tony G, uh, <laughs> you are helping now down 7,300. I think Tony G's ahead in this game. In fact, I think Ian Fraser might be in a bit of trouble right now. Absolutely disgraceful. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, you Ian Fraser's been taking his money out right now. I had a 10 also. Yeah, you played out a bit chicken. I took you on. He took me on, he took me on, and he gave me a little knock. I gave a nice little knock to the Finn. And then I left in with the king. He finally played a hand. Then Ace Jack, I imagine I had aces that hand. That would have been a big pot for us. 1,500. You were getting serious. I'll raise it. I think somebody should tell Tony G that he's got his own microphone. That's pretty It doesn't have to be picked up by some, by some satellite in Brixton. <laughs> yeah, and just take the pot. $250 and the fish. Let me just think. This is a Did you limp time. in or do you actually have the big blind? Playing a little snug here. Is... Is this the way you'd kind of be playing as you to fish too? I mean, you kind of want to see what happens. I mean, uh, Ace Jack not that big a hand bar. Is this the way you play cash no limit? Well, when the, sta when the stacks are getting deeper and deeper here, and the blinds haven't gone up, so um, he had to play. The fish is well within his rights to see what's going on, huh? Sure. Tell you what, I'm not playing. Kind of exciting. And Helmuth in with the deuce seven. Uh, Nine. That's a oh, wow. great flop for the devil fish. Royal flush draw, and as yeah. usual, McGill hang on, hang on. looks right. like he has a big flap for the strangle. He didn't, give, he didn't even give him a chance to bluff all his I'm going to bet. I know. Well, I think we could be seeing a, could, could be seeing a raise from uh, Mr. Elliot here. Call. Oh, then again, we might be good. <laughs> just about to see a call. I think it was, a, it was about $600 bet by McGill called by 
the fish. And, uh, I mean, I always get the nice guy. McGill guess. does have the nines, but he does not want to improve. This is like a backwards hand. McGill thinks he needs to hit, and he doesn't. Mm, McGill, by the time this pot is over, Fine. McGill might have been happier if, if the fish had raised him out of it on the flop. Well, the uh, fish now has the nuts 16. and the nut draw. 1,600. It's like an Omaha hand. Yeah. And the fish's hand is so big, he won't really even want to pop it that much, will he? You so just keep betting away, don't you, bro? You're just like a machine. He's about to oh. do John oh. McGill's tonsils. Come in this I'm going to call this, this but I'm probably going to call up the end, too. Probably. This is exciting now, you're isn't it? Going you to feel like you're in a game well, here. I'm going to call that, set but I'm probably going to call up the end, too. He's trying to get a better chance of setting them up if Tony G had shut up for a couple of minutes. So does his talent. If the club comes, Clark, it's going to be ugly. Four. Ten. Wait, a ten do, I think. There's Gil may have thought he wanted to see a club in the river, but... Five thousand in this pot. Oh, gee. He knows at this stage his nine is no good, so it's either give it up or better. I was bluffing? I might have been bluffing. Twenty four hundred. And uh, the only good news from McGill is he didn't bet more. <laughs> wow. But it's kind of a nice bet from McGill. He's given him a chance of giving himself a chance of picking up the pot without doing his tonsils in it. What do you bet? Too far. Well you got a jack, you don't go We have something like ten jack. No, you bet the uh, It's a bit unlucky for John McGill here, that you know. The Queen wasn't a I'm an on. obvious straight card from All the fish. In. I was hoping out. against hope that John McGill's got a jack. The devilfish has just moved all in park. Uh, this is kind of the end of it. I like the sound. I like that. Worried about Tony G. All of a sudden he has all this ego. I don't know. Can you give me some tea? Don't tell him I'm worried. Pass. About Good fall, buddy. Yeah, we're going to really one card now. Mark, sit now. Hey, Mr. Mr. Fish, one That's card. That's a big like pot of devilfish one took. Card. And, uh, sure, one card. You're choosing one okay. card. He wow. didn't have wow. what was it? It's interesting. Did I mean, you see that? He, 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 he won, it's not that he didn't win a big pot because he did park it. I wonder what would happen if he had raised Mark. big on the turn. I mean, McGill, you know, might, might, might have gone a little bit deeper. Wow, did you see Fishy showed him the ace of clubs? Oh, that Fishy's a cool customer, boy. That? I'll tell you right now. And you got my team, Matt. You, you, you don't think Fishy's a cool customer, buddy. <laughs> and Parg, uh, the fish, th this game, I mean, talk about how big it is. He started out $7,000 up. He went 4000 behind, and now he's about $7,000 up again. And, uh, you know, we're not even really more than a couple hours in. <laughs> God knows what's going to happen before this is over. Um, we've got ourselves a game here. You know, people are used to watching poker and TV where a guy loses his chips and then just has to get up and leave the table. But we're now watching a game where a guy can keep going to his pocket. Yeah, and some of these guys have deep pockets. Okay, raise 150. Because we're playing for 24 hours, th th there's every chance we're going to have a chance yeah, to find yeah. out exactly how deep some people's pockets are. Yeah, book any book. <laughs> well, and we we might get to see wall. what a million dollars in chips looks like on the table before this is over. Wow. wow. Just to mix things up a little bit. He's winning, he's winning. Oh, winning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the brakes are on now. Kalakis oh plays anyway, very I passive just, before the flop from what we've seen. This is a limp in here with the queens. I mean... Seven, oh, nine, this, this could work seven. for him. He's, he's got Ten. Dave Elliott beat, but not in bad shape at all. Go like yeah, this could be a bit of a pot here. Well, I don't even, you know I don't even think I was going to say that Elliott is much of a dog here. He's, is this something? He's nearly, yeah, it's nearly 50, 50, 50. Yeah. Pass and cross. I would say, uh, I'd guess, uh, Elliott might prefer to be playing this hand against just about anybody else at the table. And that, uh, well, that is the perfect. Galakis is probably the most... Uh, Solid player at the moment. Check. That was the perfect card today. Just keep today. betting, just because I check like I got nothing. Yeah, That's a big bet, Park. Is he worried about the I'm ten jack? Listen. Wow. Not a ten. Uh, I got a set of nines here. Hmm? I got a set of nines. Well, the fact that uh, Kalakis has just uh, <laughs> has <laughs> overplayed his queens before the flop, <laughs> some kind of doubt into, into Dave's uh, mind. I'm hoping it's good. Kalakis yes. is drawn dead here. There's a couple of scare cards that maybe could kill the action. I don't think you with a six might give him a split. Oh, baby dog. Eight. Not an eight. That's uh, not a damn. too much of a scare card for anybody here. I was wondering if the devilfish knew where he was. I can think he does, Park. Well, he's come out betting it now after calling on the turn. I mean, why no raise on the turn? 
Well, I think he's trying to <laughs> he's trying to pretend he's got a ten and has missed. That's two thousand. I think Galactus is going to get a little curious here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's going to call. I think you've got me. I got a straight. You got a six. Yeah. It's a kind of a show me a call. Six, <laughs> yeah. The big lick. The and uh, for the fish. Part, the two pots in a row now for the Devilfish, the both of them over $10,000. Uh, <laughs> he, I believe, will very quickly <laughs> go from being uh, one of the big losers in this game to the big winner. Uh, he's 12 grand ahead. Uh, are we starting to see what the fish can do? Well, we always knew what the fish could do uh, one way or the other, but uh, he's now got position on both Helmut and Tony G. Let's all both play every hand. I thought you were you. No matter what, I let's make a rule. Tony G is going to be pushing this. You know, the, the fish has got a pretty good seat. I thought you were you last friend. You know, it's interesting. Oh, well, Tony like G came out blasted. He raised the first the three pots. He won 3,000. Now, place. since then, he's actually started folding hands, but he hasn't stopped talking. He, no, is he a master of deceit? But I took well, his money. So he's got a lot of practice. And then took your money, and now he's rubbing it in. No, but he feels good about that. Now he's compensated me. He tried yeah. to keep me out of the game. Can you believe that? I mean, oh. if you saw me coming, I don't think the devilfish is going to play a hit so and run job here. Please no, take, I don't think so. Seat, I think you know. uh, right. Right. there's a few Everybody guys around this table lining up a there's real big payday here. here. It was prepared. <laughs> Took the hand over. But, uh, it's, actually, it's quite interesting about Yuha Healthy's situation because he was he's been talking for about four days about the flight he has to catch somewhere somewhere around six in the morning in this catch game. I've got news for you. I'd like, I'd like to bet that that plane is going to leave one seat empty. I don't exactly know what he's got to go back to Finland. I think there's more than one flight a week to Finland these days. Fair enough. Let's make the even if there wasn't, he might wait till next week. So now, now we're playing. Now we're playing. Have you got my team, Marty? Um, the raise has come okay, from healthy yeah, here, and yeah, we're four ways for, I think, 450. I think there's going to be about 18, a little over $1,800 in the pot now, but... Um, Tony, bust one of us. Oh, my God. You know, there's, there's some guys playing quite deep here, Park, like aren't there? He'll be screaming and yelling. I'll be, it'll be like I'll be looking up and I'll just see. Well, there's three going. guys with uh, around oh, about the twenty thousand yeah. mark in front of them. I might even he jump bust, up and hang and do a somersault. He'll be just screaming and yelling. Four oh, clubs and, and a quick look at what's out there. There's two pair for Kalakis. Helpy's got the top pair and a biggest plus draw. <laughs> If you got creative, everybody can convince yeah, himself they got something. That should slow people down. Yuha's going to have a think part. What should he do here with two guys behind him? Mm. Raise to 3,000. Wow. That's a lot of money to put in. Pass. On just one pair and a Pass. jack high flush draw. Wow. All in. Wow. Oh, do you like them eggs, baby? I flop a flush for play. And Seven high I, I mean, as win. quickly as Kalak is stacked in, Yuha stacked it's off. Yeah. There's, not, there's not going to be an awful lot in this. Yeah. Help is actually a slight favorite. Help is hand? a favorite. Park, how did he? How did he know his hand was good? It's like he. It's like he knows exactly what Kalak has had. I mean, you know. He's folded the flush. I just folded the flush. is the one. He's probably playing a little bit tighter than anybody else at the table. I mean, oh, yeah, but, uh, <laughs> help you call them out. Uh, like, yeah, without, <laughs> <laughs> without a second thought there. A thousand became three thousand. Kalakis put a, a raise of about five thousand more, and help you called him instantly. I mean, um. So whatever it is. Now a lot of guys would start to uh, worry about what they could be behind but against here. No danger. No danger. Uh, you win. Looks like uh, the flight to Finland might be on. Yeah. Well, uh, if Kalakis doesn't hit an ace or a deuce, he's out. He's got four outs to the full house. If I play my hand, I'm drawing dead. Imagine how, well, what a fall that was. By the way, I fold a ton of clubs and stuff. Like that. We have a seat open here. Take it we do. I bet on your hand too. Did you? Killian says that's all for him tonight. He's had yeah, enough of these one. fellas. And I just never cash really got the cards in this cash game. But uh, yeah. I don't think that seat's going to be empty for long, Park. There's, uh, there's, there's people. I think Tony G would like to play two seats anyway. You know, there's no end in sight. Very, very low blinds. It's very hot. Players were very, very tight. Uh, just very difficult.
another empty seat at the table, and a Russian waiting in the wings to take on the likes of Phil Helmuth and Tony G. Will he be riding his bike? That's after the break. Seat open, table one. It was Kalakis, the Greeks, the latest to fall. And into that seat comes now a Russian, the big, the bad, Kirill Karasimov. I'm a parliament, <laughs> I'm a parliament hockey player. I'm, I'm buying the minimum, like my whole life. It's enough for me. It's enough. It's enough. Where's my hand? I think it's a blank. No, I don't want it. 125. That's 125? If I, I tell you what, if I ask you for a rebuy. I'm the captain, you listen to me now. Get a rebuy. Give him a rebuy quickly. How about Marty? If take... Marty? Let me take a few of your chips. No, no, no. You have a rebuy. Okay? I've been at a few kiddies' tea parties where I got a headache, but there was nothing like this. You'd have trouble believing this noise level could keep up for 24 hours, but then again, you haven't seen the stash of hot cut Red Bull they have in the green room. Well, this is a real poker game. This is just like the good old days, isn't it? Oh, it is. I can't play with your stash. Steve Ink, what is this, man? Can you believe this? Healthy made a small raise. I think Helmuth made the re-raise to oh eleven hundred or so with the jacks. Can't imagine Healthy's calling this one. Well, they're both pretty deep. He's scared. He's scared. He's scared. He's scared. This man there's, there's here. There's no reason really not to have to call it because he's, he's, he's getting the odds against uh, flopping the set here if he's up against an open pair. Jeez, are you serious? You're an embarrassment. It's only 1100. No, you won't. Phil? <laughs> 1100's a lot less than it was right. about two hours ago. <laughs> wow, you, you said it, Park. Healthy's got yeah. position and. Uh, Bring on more. And, and we can have more. There's all kinds of ways. He's got a lot of desire to, to beat Phil Helmuth in a big pot as well. That's for you sure. You know, I hate that every flop. Well, you can't beat a little bit of needle at the table. At least he Five. Oh my God. Oh my. And Park. We may, we may be very close to getting what the one thing that this game was missing. <laughs> With the rebuy from Helmut. <laughs> it's on the way. Uh, Interesting to see how. Uh, 1600. Was his birthday? He decides to play this. You don't fill out our races yet. It's due on. What, what is your sense of the best way to get paid from Phil Helmut? Fast play or slow play? I think it's more right. <laughs> Zulin. Oh. Well, I think uh, Helmut only had about six and a half thousand at the start. I have a part. five. <laughs> Is it good? No. no? Oh. Oh. I must be behind. <laughs> no? <laughs> can you believe this, Phil? At least you can have a rebuy. I told you you needed a rebuy. Help, he's uh, doing a lot of dishing out back to what Phil was giving him before. Bring him a rebuy now. You've got a rebuy. You want to hold <laughs> Maybe a bit over the top, but he was trying to do an imitation of the, hel the, yeah, the Phil Jack Helmuth Insta-Call. Uh, you want to bet? Wow. You want to take this may have the desired effect. Phil and, can uh, catch lightning in the jail. Watch it. Oh! oh pretty close. Wow. Can you believe that? That was it, baby. A queen, he wins too now. This was second round. 15,500 in there. Yeah, you, Hope you with the full house. The, uh, queen can be Helmuth saying queen nothing. Helmuth may be wishing he did have the rebuy before this hand. He could have got away from it on the flop. In your red card. Phil is lucky enough to catch the check, though. No. Red. Trust this. Okay, rebuy. Have well, a big rebuy. Have 50, interestingly rebuy. enough, uh, Helpy had three fives in the Everything. pot against Everything. Helmet uh, <laughs> when they played for Brixton at the World Series this year. <laughs> And uh, Helmet yeah. hit a flush, and the board didn't there pair for Helpy. So uh, <laughs> Helpy may think that the five's home yeah, yeah. a little bit against Phil. Oh, no, no. Wow. You know this feeling, right? Phil, get used to it. Phil, hey. Get used to it. Again and again and again and again. Nice you just got nice lucky play, last year in the World Series. <laughs> I didn't even know how he could speak English before today. I'm telling you, what? Uh, the Premier League wasn't this enough. is a this is a whole new ball game. <laughs> if Kirill starts you talking here, I'm going home. I've only been playing with the guy for eight years. <laughs> In the P and L column, Helmet has done his first buy, and uh, who's the big leader at the table? Uh, Jeez, you got to look around. At Hardy still ahead, thirteen thousand. Healthy. I thought he'd gone home. <laughs> he's uh, been on it. He, he went from about five or six thousand loser. Now he's ten thousand winner. Uh, there's a lot of money uh, still in play here, though. 
shot him at all when one of our headbots came to the Actually, I think you A lot of people talking about Patrick well, Antonius the these days as a top fin. Uh, cool. Obviously, he's. Is he a Swedish fin or a Finnish fin? No, he's a fin. He's just Finnish fin. Tony, have you followed cool. Cool. But, uh, no. New High is kind of the old original. 700. I'll stick to my own. Raised to 700. I've only played with you uh, a couple of times, and that was uh, that was plenty for me. <laughs> Helmuth has made a raise here. He's got the Cowboys. Play every possible hand I can. This is decision time for Hardy. Wow, Pass. that's some decision. You're Pass. Pass. Raise that you big. Pass. You are asleep. Five hundred. Wow. He was on the button, uh, Hardy, with the two tens, Bart. An interesting pass. As in bewildering or wild. Yeah. <laughs> 500 with 12 more. And Garasimov has re raised Helmuth here. 1200. This is. Um, Pass. What? Well, Helmuth's just going to stick him in? Pass. Or should he slow play it? We well, ain't really got that many, 12, to be honest. Well, he's only got 4,500 Helmuth. 1200, sorry. 1200. Did you give him change? No, 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 still good. Carol's really getting fast here. That's yours. 1200. Take it in now. 1200 for you. Very aggressive uh, move. 1200 for you. More. But the funny thing is, you know, you know, maybe Tony Hardy sensed that there was something going on to his left and thought it was a hand rather than a. <laughs> okay, this is all my money. Then a raise coming up. He had 1900. So three more hundred over there. Put the 300 over in front of him. Uh, and the question is, uh, how much okay, more Phil has made it? I, I think it's around 3,000 part more. And I mean, man, it's uh, Carol is getting pot odds if he. Yeah, it would. If he calls here. He, he mixed it up. I guess it, what is he getting odds against anything but the aces, really? Just about. Well, he's still not going to like it, is he? Well, he's not going to be over the moon. He's over the moon. <laughs> 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 Unless he's on drugs or something. But anyway, that's not the worst part in the world. I know you're going to lose the money. I know this is good. For Russian, this is good already. Well, there's a bit of bad news for Phil right now. There weren't any aces passed, and there were two kings passed. Uh, there are no kings in this deck. No, no, if I lose, I pay A few clubs would be fun. If you lose the hand, I pay you all the I mean, No, 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 no. Hold on. He's a... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, I'm the favorite, aren't I? I want to bet on his hand. You like bet my fans? This is yeah, a... Yeah, I understand. You're betting his hand. I probably win 10,000 if I win, right? Right around 10? Just chopping. You're betting his hand. Come on, let's go. We're not going to have any more. All right, 3,000. Fair play to Kerala. If you are to look at him now, you think he was the guy with the kings. He's lazy. He thinks this is hysterical. It is kind of funny. Have you ever been to Moscow? <laughs> this is a side bet. We already had one this side bet. Oh, Tony. Now you want to step in? What do you want, you want me yeah. to say to him? It's you a side bet. Me to side them. <laughs> then deal. We already <laughs> made our bet. And you want to helmet like, uh, Anthony Hardy seems to have a pretty uh, <laughs> slim memory because he, he was the guy to two a thousand across the table a few months I mean, ago. And he he was was that's a side bet. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. You know, well, 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 Grasimov's going to win this. Well, ah. Helmets down to backdoor spades. Yeah, runner, <laughs> runner for the well, street. Kings are out. Well, I mean, people, people try to give me Jack or queen of spades like would be a bit of a laugh. It's interesting what happened here. Helmuth made a side <laughs> bet with Tony G <laughs> on Curl's <laughs> hand, which I think is I want money every day. was more than it was Everywhere in the pot. I I took for That's all because you're big and strong. And <laughs> well, just in case anybody's <laughs> missed his hand, uh, Phil will tell them all about it later on. Oh, no. So, what do you mean now? The kings aren't good. <laughs> I got the Russian to put in five thousand with an ace five. But he's stupid. He told you he's stupid. So he's so so You should be happy for that. I know. Have that. a big rewind, I, I, I have seen. I can't believe you only look at that three thousand. Um. So sick. No. No, no. Nice Interesting case. enough, if Phil had taken Tony G's advice and yeah. brought him for 10,000 rather than 5,000 the last time, uh, this okay. pop might not have uh, happened exactly the way it did. But there was another interesting thing, Parg, is that yeah. those two tens that Anthony yeah. Hardy yeah. folded yeah. must be giving him yeah. kind of yeah. a yeah. little bit of nightmares yeah. right now. He would have made tens yeah. full. I was on the odds, Phil. I'm not really oh, yeah. Oh, that could be good for the game before it's all over. Maybe that's why Tony Hardy was... 
Well, that's a pretty weird pass from Tony Hardy. I mean, he plays like you do, you huh? You guys are I'm sure there's, an, there's a very logical explanation <laughs> from it. I just, <laughs> I just can't take what it might be at the moment. They've played as bad as they can, and they've won every chip so far. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I played as good as I can, and I've lost but, every but chip. Look, you've got okay. to give him some credit. He said he's stupid, right? I don't care if you put five beats on me like that. I don't care he's if you talk and talk and talk. I'm going to show you the nuts. It's Phil Helmuth and John McGill, the big losers at this stage. But the Devilfish is kind of cranking up the action a little bit. It's not just the money, not just the cards, but the verbal onslaught between him and Tony G. And those stuck players, they may be rocking, but they can get even. It's soldier on and play here at the PartyPoker.net Big Game.